So, today is the first time that I'm actually making a video instead of a stream uh, in English because I already made some videos in Italian and you guys will probably never see them. For today's video, I wanted to challenge myself. I'm going to challenge my future myself at 15 rounds of a diverse word no move and 15 rounds of a diverse word no move no, no pun no zoom so basically today i am going to play these 30 rounds in total and then months later probably not more than six months because then i forget it i'm going to play again and see if i improved so i'll start instantly in a diverse world i start with the 15 uh, no move uh, because you know it's easier for me like it's like a warm-up to the mo the harder ones that are the no move no pan zoom and i'll try to explain my thoughts so that uh, when i'll watch this video again i know if i got them just because of luck or not so let's start the game first round of the day okay driving right uh, we have a yellow road line in the middle uh we don't have a colombian cross we have an antenna that reminds of the one that is either in mexico in brazil in colombia or in uh, ecuador so the sun is completely north as you, as you can see and the back of the of the sign is not black all, all these things makes me want to guess Ecuador, and now that I see this, I'm pretty sure this is an, an Ecuador bollard. And it was indeed Ecuador, great. I actually can keep the count of the counters that I get right. Let's not count this as a streak, let's count it just as the numbers of uh, rounds that I get right out of uh, 15 so here i mean these japanese cars will probably drive in right it looks Jap uh, left we it looks japanese uh, that part of the uh, pole uh, the black and yellow lines all of these reminds of japan and it's actually in japan so i'm at two out of two and now everything gets maybe trickier we have a gen 4 yellow line in the middle green signs but as you can see, the sun is uh, south, so we uh, must be in the northern hemisphere, and it looks Mexican. And it was indeed Mexico. Nice. It's actually a good start. Uh, could be a problem. It actually could be a problem. Here, there was Cyrillic written behind me. The plates uh, are completely white, so it's just... Uh, I mean, I don't have to say anything. It's just Russia. It was next to Omsk. Okay. Four out of four. Crazy. And here we have a Gen... Uh, Gen 2, maybe. But, I mean, the, there's the Australian bollard. And we're driving left. So, it has to be Australia. Uh, okay, nice. First try. Five out of five. Um, I swear, if I get 30 out of 30... That's my first time probably getting every single counter right in 30 rounds. Uh, especially no move. But yeah, uh, I hope not because otherwise I actually have to be perfect in three months as well. And there's already a harder round. So again, the antenna that is in one of the four Latin countries that I said before. Uh, the sun could be north, could be south. Um, the plates aren't yellow, so it it can't be Colombia. And so now there are a few countries remaining. I'm pretty sure this is uh, Mexico, though, because if I look at the poles, they should not be the Brazilian and Mexican ones. Um, uh, yeah, they shouldn't be. Hopefully it's Mexico. It was Mexico. Nice. Um, let's move on here. Something written. That's a... Here I have to base my guess on the language, which, to be honest, is definitely Hungarian. I'm pretty sure about that. So I would send Hungary 
without thinking too much. And yes, it was Hungarian. Nice. Okay. Here we have rifts in the sky. So there's a slight... Yeah, there's a little chance of it being Albanian. But looking at this plate, it can't be Albania. It has to be Monte. Which is the most common one to have rifts. Okay. 8 out of 8, right. Here, okay. We Again, yellow road line. Driving uh, probably right, uh, southern hemisphere, the car is black if I'm not mistaken. So I would probably send uh, Argentina, because it's not Uruguay, if you look at the mountains, Uruguay doesn't have mountains basically. Uh, I guess Argentina is a decent guess. I'm not sure, this could be the first wrong one. If it's Peru, I'm going to be a little bit sad. It was Peru. Ah, uh, yeah, to be fair, there were a lot of mountains. I actually thought it was like in this part. That's fine. First mistake, Peru instead of Argentina. It's a pretty common one, especially because of the car that that was black. Here, I mean, this language is spoken only in Thailand, Cambodia, or um, Laos. But the plates aren't yellow, so it has to be Cambodia or Thailand. And as you can see, we are driving left, so it has to be Thailand. Okay. So, oh, really close to Malaysia, but it was Thailand. 9 out of 10, right? And the only mistake was between Peru and Argentina. That's not bad. And as I said, I'm, I don't know if I'm, if I'm happy. I mean, I'm happy because I'm playing well. Uh, this is actually a test to see if I'm better off-stream or on-stream as well. Here, okay, the poles look... Uh, so, the poles have holes, as you can see. This means that uh, it has to be Hungary, I guess. Because Poland, uh, Polish poles don't have the holes that reach the end of the, of the pole, the bottom of the pole. Hungarian do... And this doesn't look uh, Rom Romania. And maybe this is actually a Hungarian. So probably it's another Hungarian lock. I was wrong. To be fair, I couldn't see the bottom of the poles. Yeah, it was Poland. That was... I could have got it right, to be fair. Again, I was indecided between those two countries and I chose the wrong one. So it's not too bad. And now I would say that this is uh, Indonesia. Um, wait a moment. Actually, no. Actually, no. I'm pretty sure we are driving right because this is the back of the car. Here I see Caballa, which sounds like a Spanish surname. And so thanks to that, I should be able to guess the Philippines without any problems. Okay, yeah, it was the Philippines. I could have got this one wrong as well. Brazil here, back of the sign black, Gen 4, Yellow Road, Sun North, the general landscape and scenario had to be Brazil. Okay, still two guesses, two locations remaining, and I got two wrong. Okay, here I have to guess between Canada and the US. Uh, between the two, I probably would go US. So this doesn't look uh, north enough to be Canada. I was completely wrong. <laughs> okay, I always get freaking the Canada US 50 50 wrong. Okay, three mistakes in no move. Could be four. I jinxed it uh, so much. Oh no. So as you can see, white plate. White plates. Uh, that makes me probably guess... Uh, it looks European, so Switzerland. There aren't a lot of countries in Europe with a white plate. A completely white plate. It was Switzerland, okay. I mean, 12 out of 15, uh, um, like, at the end of the day, it's not bad. I got uh, three 50-50s wrong as well, like, it's not like I didn't know where it was. That wasn't bad. 
Now, let's continue to the other 15, which are probably the the ones where I'll get 5 of, out of 10. I'll be happy if I get a third right. Let's see. It all depends on the rounds. And it doesn't start well at all. Um, could be in a lot of countries. Europe, 100%. Um, could be Poland, maybe. I probably would go Poland. You can see our roof over here really far. So I'll try Poland. I'm not sure, though. It was France. I was completely wrong. Yeah, I, that's, that actually makes sense, being France. And now again, we have a location that looks like Belgium, I would say. Uh, if I look at the houses. Um, otherwise, it could actually be the Netherlands as well, but I don't know. The houses give me a Belgian vibe. It was the Netherlands. That's not a good start at all. Okay. Here, where the heck is this place? So, the sun is north, so at least I know that I'm in the southern hemisphere. Uh, a lot of palms. I'll try Indonesia. I don't know if it's a good guess, though. Oh my, it was Mexico. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> this is not going well. Oh, okay, never mind. We have... Uh, um, oh my, ah, the language that they speak in Israel, they have the yellow plates as well, and they have the yellow roads at the sides of the roads, of the road, so it has to be Israel, it is, of course, okay, one out of four, and this looks just like the Netherlands, I would say, um, hopefully it's not like UK or Ireland, because, yeah, it should be in the Netherlands, Exactly. At least I got two out of three. It's it's not too bad. Two out of three. It's not too bad. Uh, I'll take it. I could have got uh, probably a few uh, other guesses, especially the the Netherlands, the first uh, Dutch location. I should have got that one right. That's fine. Here, as you can see, we're driving on the left, and we have a, a black plate. It has to be Malaysia or Indonesia. But between the two, this looks m more Indonesian, I would say. At least to me. Then I'm completely wrong, I don't know. It's still a 50-50. Okay, it was actually Indonesia, the island of Timor. I'll take it. Here, there's a bollard that I can't see. Where the heck? Oh, you know where could this could be? I don't know why I'm thinking of a really, really, really particular Turkish location. The bollard seems like it's white with a little bit of red. I don't know if you can tell. And the pole, this pole should be in Turkey as well. So they both could be Turkish, so I'll try Turkey. It was the back of a New Zealandic pole. It makes a lot more sense now that I think about that. But I didn't go there, and that's the problem. Here, as you can see, we're driving left. It feels European. Uh, has to be either Ireland or UK. There's no way I can tell if it's one or the other. I can't see any plates. I have a feeling that I should guess Ireland, though. I hate myself. Oh, come on. That's bad. This should be the US. I swear if it's Canada. Okay. I could have been already at 5. I screwed it. This is Ireland 100% thanks to the dashed yellow lines on the sides. Let's go. Okay. Okay. I could have got 3 out of 5 here as well. Um, wait. I got the three locations out of five uh, right. I could have got four locations out of five right. And let's go with, with the last five then. Like, let's see. How many locations right now? Five in ten. Okay, I have a 50-50 in this moment. Uh, like, uh, ratio. Uh, 
here it looks American, I have to say. It could be Canada. The street looks a little bit Canadian. It's definitely north. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot see the front of these cars. It would have helped me actually a lot. I'm actually convincing myself of going Canada. I'll try Canada. Don't ask me exactly where. It was Canada. It was Quebec. But yeah, okay, that's good. Okay, now. Um, yellow Road. The sun is probably north, even if you can't really see it. There aren't even shadows. Why aren't there shadows? I don't know. Uh, probably South America. Driving right, probably, as well. And uh, as you can see, that pole uh, right here could be a big hint. Uh, but it's not helping me, I have to be honest. Argentina, I wouldn't be surprised of it being Chile, though. Or, actually, this is Brazil. Uh, it could be any of those. Does this look like a Portuguese baller, uh, pole, so that maybe it's actually Brazil? I don't know. I'm looking even at these fences over here. If they look maybe Colombian. But I don't think this is Colombia. Doesn't look like it. Or it's like top left north, really north Colombia. You know what? My last guess uh, is uh, Chile. Uh, I don't know exactly why. I'll try Chile. It was Brazil. Yeah, um, that makes sense. And we got a... Okay, uh, it changed. That's fine. Um, looks Japanese here. We're even driving left, I guess. No, wait. This can't be a turn left. Like We have to drive right if there's this thing. So it has to be South Korea then. Seems the case. Because it doesn't make sense... Uh, for a car to do these, uh, with these, uh, you know, road uh, lines here. It makes more sense that a car from that road goes here. Same thing, okay, as you can see here, there's a air road that goes, that tells you to turn right. In fact, probably you can't even go here. And so, you're we are driving right, it has to be South Korea. Never mind, I got it completely wrong. Oh shit, okay, never mind. It was bigger than what I expected. There are only two locations remaining. Uh, this looks uh, Canada or the States. Let's try Canada. It's probably, I don't know, here maybe? Yes, sir, it was British Columbia. At least we got a seventh location right. And the last one, okay, uh, as you can see the sun is south, so Mexican uh, uh, antenna, please tell me it's just Mexico, so that I get 8 out of 15, it was Mexico, okay, nice, 8 out of 15, um, I mean, at the end I got 12 locations right out of 15, in a diverse world, no move, and I got only 8 out of 15 Adverse uh, World locations. No move, no pan, no zoom. Which is not bad. Actually, I would say that uh, I was expecting this score. I was expecting getting this score. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I mean, leave a like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, even if I'm not going to stream for a few days. I'll come back the 22nd of August with the streams. Um, follow me on Twitter and TikTok, maybe, if you want. And, yeah, I mean, ciao, I guess. <laughs>